All right, today, this is gonna be part trace, three. Getting this gambler car ready. I think this will be the one where we start to make it look pretty. Hello, my friends, and welcome to Tom's Tinkering and Adventures. Today, we're gonna to be hopefully finishing up the Gambler 500 Lexus IS 300. And uh, I'd like to say thank you to my sponsor, Super Clean. There you go, I got the shirt, the hat, lots of goodies back here. They send us a whole bunch of good stuff, help support this vehicle. I got some stickers I'll be putting on there. And also, I had a whole box full of uh, little samples that I can give out to anyone else who is gonna be at this event. So that's really awesome. Um, I think our first thing we're going to do to the car is we're going to uh, put it up on the stands and make a skid plate for the front of it. I've got some aluminum and I may even have like a small uh, steel plate, but we need to make something that's going to go across the center here and then down under to protect the oil pan. Uh, if our engine doesn't run, we're not moving. So that's going to be our first priority and um, we've already sprayed the car off a little bit and then we got to give it that uh, days of thunder paint job <laughs> norm almost lost it that would have been a good idea actually if we would have mellow yellowed this thing out huh <laughs> yeah. and then we could put cold trickle on the side of it oh man you got to be careful rubbing is racing but uh i don't know we're going to put some stripes and uh some different colors on it just you know you have to identify yourself so uh, once we get done with our breakfast break, we'll get this thing on the stands and start working with some cardboard and make a template. There's our fancy cardboard template we made out of a old box. So this is behind the engine, oil pan, and it's gonna bend up and then attach underneath the bumper. We transferred it to this piece of aluminum diamond plate I had laying around. I hate to cut up my good stuff but that's what i have stuff for so we're going to cut this out uh, we found some mounting holes on the back that we think we can use so we'll utilize them they're kind of like right behind the, the it's like a cross member behind the engine and then on the front we'll take the front bumper off drill some holes and maybe we'll put uh, rib nuts in there so we'll get this cut out and we'll show it to you super clean thank you Ay, she's a thing of beauty eh? Never mind the stripes on it. That's from when I did some uh, wood staining. Well, this one was part of a trailer. Bolt. And we got one, one more mounting bolt in the middle here, but we've used the captive nuts underneath here. And we did the same thing on the bottom. Going under. One and two. And uh, right in there's the oil pan. And uh, there's the rough edge right here where you'll uh, slice an artery. So don't, tried that. don't do that yeah. but uh so now all we got to do while we were talking about it it's like possibly this is going to uh affect cooling maybe because that's the radiator and if i remember right that part that we cut off had a little vintage down yes, there too yeah. right you can see right where the bill is yeah so um might have to might have to get a hole saw and cut a couple of vent holes through there but other than that all we have left now is beautification. All right, we spent a small fortune on spray paint and the lady at Home Depot thought maybe we were uh, taggers, but we didn't have our hats on backwards. That's what Norm said. So we're too old to look like we're delinquents or juvenile delinquents. We're taped off. We're gonna start painting. So fortunately the wind picked up, so we'll maybe get some dust in it. Give it a little bit of uh, aggressive grit to the paint. Yeah, this is a top quality job. You can tell because we bought the Rust-Oleum 2X. Not one, but two. All right, we're off to the races here.
having a good time. There's never enough hours in the day. So we got two of the three colors on and we got two of the wheels painted. We're going for the Yamaha or Yamaha Toyota, the TRD colors, red, orange, yellow stripe. And uh, we're going to do uh, one set of wheels yellow and one red. I think I'm going to probably put the yellow wheels on the back because it'll contrast with that red nicely, but we'll see. But, uh, there we go. We'll see where we get tomorrow. Maybe paint that skid plate and a few other little things, but it's getting there. Okay, I had to stop last night because I went to a 311 concert, but I uh, got started on it the next day, and here we go. I'm standing back because this is where it looks the best. It doesn't look too terrible when you get close, but there's definitely some painted in the driveway with rust-oleum and uh, wind and a couple of beers. Painted the backs of the mirrors. Painted the front bumper. I think I'm gonna put some uh, stripes on the hood as well with this three color deal. Looks pretty decent right now. Still gotta get the emblem back on the back of it there. and paint the rear rims. So I think I'm gonna move the yellow ones to the back because it'll break up that red and orange and I'll paint the front ones red, I think. I'm going to uh, probably swap yellow on this side and just see if I like all of them yellow or if yellow and red. Tell me what you think, but uh, by the time you view this video, I'm gonna have made up my own mind. Shadows are getting long and uh, didn't get a whole lot done today, but I did get the wheel spacers Loctited on and uh, of course got the rims all painted and that yellow stripe and the other items so Still a couple things to do uh, Hopefully I'll get at it tomorrow but Looking good Got a couple of old lights mounted down here I just had those laying around in my stash of junk. I don't know if they're, I know they work, but they're probably not gonna add too much, but they do add to the look. Looks nice. And now I'm gonna show you um, how to stay in the low bucks budget mod for vehicles like this. You know, I've wasted a lot of money on spray paint and fanciness. Now here's where we're gonna save money. I wanted to make a roof basket on here and on, uh, one of the last videos I showed you, I had a little plastic one, plastic tub that we were thinking about using, but somebody abandoned a bed frame on my street. People are always leaving junk on my street and it usually upsets me. And this didn't make me too happy when I saw it, but then I looked at it again and I saw a almost pre-made roof rack here. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lop these off down here. We're gonna cut this thing down. I think I measured 48 inches, looks to be about the right length for this. And then, uh, maybe I'll bust out my little welder, or who knows, but we'll attach the other, there's the other end, the footboard or headboard or whichever it may be out of the two, to the other end. And now go through my scrap and see if I can't come up with something to go across the two. And we'll get this thing set up here somehow. So let's see how this turns out. If it doesn't turn out, I guess I'm just wasting time. And uh, at the very least, I picked it up. So if I have to cut it down into little pieces and put it in my trash, that's what I'll do. But it's worth a shot. Nothing quite as classy as a bed frame on top of a car. Yeah. So I cut her down and, uh, and I cut the ends off. I channeled these. I kind of like sliced them, jammed them in there. And I'm probably just gonna put some sheet metal screws in here for now to hold this together until I get my, uh, my welder working properly. I need to mess around with it. 
but I need to get some crossbars on here. So let's go see what we've got. And then I gotta figure out how I'm gonna mount it. I had to move the roof rack back just about an inch to get a nice spacing on here. But we'll come up with something. I was thinking a couple of big hose clamps, like four big hose clamps to hold that on. I don't know. It's probably not the best, not the worst. We'll come up with a solution. And of course, once you can put some black paint on it, then it's gonna look super tactical. All right, there's the bed. And I got my welder working. It doesn't work great because of the guy operating it, but these welds will hold. Oh, I forgot a weld there. I guess I'm not done yet. So all you gotta do now is put some black paint on it and it's gonna look mint. Well, she's painted. Now we just gotta figure out how we're gonna attach this thing. I think something's gonna probably have to go through here. Hey, we just may do some Boy Scout lashing. <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure it out. It's kind of funny with the uh, extra height here, but I mean, we'll take advantage of that. I was thinking I should just chop it off right above there, but um, this thing's got a few bolts kind of providing support there, so then I'd have to either drill some new holes and put bolts through or, yeah, we'll think about it. But uh, for repurposing a bed, I think it turned out okay. Besides the go fast stripes, the next thing you need to make a real rally race car is some stickers. So thank you to Super Clean. You provided me some nice big stickers. Got my Gambler 500 stickers. And of course, most important thing to advertise on the car is the car builder. So let's get these installed. This means I have to actually clean the car a little bit, but uh, I'll get these all put on and we'll see how she looks. Well, that looks official. I really wish I had gotten white for up here and I didn't do a great job. There's some bubbles. It's okay. I have about it seems like a million of those monster stickers, so I'm gonna be putting more of those around everywhere. That looks stock carish. Super clean, thank you very much. You got the big sticker. That guy. Look at that guy. I got my own stickers. Woo woo. So there you go. Um, the car is probably 99% done. It's uh, usable as is, I believe. <clears throat> I really want to put uh, some lights up here. So this is going to probably end it for part three. And I'll bring you all back for uh, part four where we're going to uh, wrap up the minor details and show you what we're bringing along. And then part five is going to be the actual rally. It's coming up, so uh, make sure you have a whiskey and a toe strap. That's what they say. Bring whiskey and a toe strap, and everything is going to be just fine. All that being said, I appreciate you hanging out for the journey thus far. If you're liking my content, give me a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below. And if you're not already a subscriber, please consider doing so. Thank you very much for watching. Get out there and find your adventure. Adios.